Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at a little bit more detail on the word structure of our navigation message. Remember, there are 25 frames in a message that need to be repeated every 12 and a half minutes to get the total message across from satellite. Then each, uh, each frame is divided into subframes. Well, there are five subframes and they have all a specific purpose. Notice the first subframe primarily contains clock correction, GPS week, SV health, and so forth, so that we can sync the clock. Subframe 2 and 3 have specific orbital information, the ephemeris of that specific satellite. Each satellite has its own ephemeris data that it transmits. And then subframe 4 and subframe 5, this is the same data that every satellite transmits. It's for the entire constellation. Notice that for subframe 5, we have information, orbital information for parents 1 through 24, essentially the first 24 satellites. And then uh, subframe 4 has a PRN information from satellite 25 to 32. It also has uh, UTC and ionospheric data. It has AS flags. It has a navigation message correction table and other things that it needs that, uh, to, in order to figure out where the satellites are at, at least for the first acquisition attempt. And then after that, we need to more accurate and ephemeris data to zero in exactly on where the satellite should be. Notice that the first three subframes are repeated every 30 seconds for one to two hours, depending upon how quickly it ages out. And then subframe four and subframe five, they repeat it every 12.5 minutes for an entire 24 hours before it's replaced by a new set. So also notice that for every one of the five subframes, we have 10 words. The first two words are exactly the same in each of these subframes. And notice that the next eight words are there for the specific data of that specific subframe. Each word, of course, contains 30 bits. Notice that the first word is called the TLM word, the telemetry word, and the second word is called the HOW word or the handover word. Well, what does it primarily contain? The TLM contains the preamble so that, the, that we can sync in to the exact location and time of the message because, of course, it has to repeat, be repeated every 30 seconds. We want to know that we start a certain message. So we have the same six, I believe it's six preamble bits. Yes, that's one, two, three, four, five, six or eight. Now I can't remember. I have to go look it up again. Six or eight preamble bits. Uh, that starts off the message so we know that that's the new uh, subframe and it has clock synchronization information so that we can sync up the clock of the satellite with the clock of the receiver. So once that's synced up, we can eliminate the potential errors between. On the handover word, notice that it primarily contains the time of the week that gets reset every week at uh, midnight between Saturday and Sunday, gets reset for the next seven days. And it also has a subframe ID code so that the receiver knows which subframe that it's receiving, so it has specific information about that as well. Notice that those get repeated every single subframe, every, every 30 seconds, that information gives us the preamble, the clock synchronization, the time of the week, and the subframe ID code every time that the receiver reads the subframe message. And so notice that uh, this takes um, uh, 30 seconds to go through one set of subframes, each subframe, and of course takes six seconds. So every six seconds it jumps to the next subframe, does that for 30 seconds, then repeats, does it again, repeats, and every 30 seconds it repeats through all five subframes like that. But again, this data right here, this data does not change, and this data changes, well, doesn't change for about 24 hours, and this data changes every hour or two because we want the latest and most accurate update on the ephemeris. And that is what we mean by the word structure of the navigation message.